This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. This holiday season, why don't you try out this tasty treat? Cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but as an adult, I had to give it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that wasn't good for me. I've cut down on sugar and carbs as an adult, but unfortunately, that includes some delicious foods like cereal. But thankfully, Magic Spoon is here to help. Magic Spoon's cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. There's also only 140 calories per serving. It tastes amazing, too good to be true. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. The flavors are great. I'm eating one of my favorites, peanut butter, but there are also the original bestsellers, cocoa, fruity, and frosted, plus other ones like cinnamon and blueberry. And Magic Spoon has other tasty flavors, like maple waffle and cookies and cream. It's delicious and tastes just like the regular cereal from our childhood, but is super nutritious. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code CONTRY for $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, and maple waffle flavors, plus other awesome flavors, including blueberry and cinnamon. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. And for my Canadian and British friends, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the UK. Hooray! So click the link below and use code CONTRY for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash country to save $5 off your order today. Make a New Year's resolution to eat this healthy and tasty cereal. His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday. You'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh, yes, it's Flea Market Madness. And me, Frank. Good morning. How you doing? It's flea market man, it's time once again. Will fortune smile upon us like the bright San Diego sun? Hey. Let's start with some starting lineup basketball figures. If they have John Starks, I'll buy it and burn it for him destroying my hopes of the Knicks winning the 94 finals. Damn you, John Starks. Can you make a three? Morning. Half naked witchblade figures. This was a comic book and a short lived TV show. I don't think she was wearing bikinis like that on TNT, though. I don't think I've ever seen one sealed new, an 8-track. <laughs> a little past that. Yeah, you were at the disco. <laughs> ah, the graphics PC gamepad. GOAT! This was revolutionary as it was the first PC gamepad released. I lost my mind when this came out. Nerd! Star Wars stuff. Mostly newer, but there are some vintage figures in the case mixed with newer ones. But nothing to write home about, especially since they are mostly incomplete. Alright. I'm alright! <laughs> Nobody worry about me at the swap meet! Wow, this is a rarity. An arcade machine at the flea market. Atari's Tetris in a cyberball cabinet. Did you see the act action on this joystick? I mean, it didn't They're not bad. Out, you know? They're, this is a Cyber Balls converted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyber Ball, not the Tetris. What were you asking on it? The one, you know, 300 bucks. Right? 300? I'll take uh, 100 and a half. 150 for a working arcade machine like this is a good deal. I just have no room for it at all at the condo. Oh, I'll think about it. That, that's, that's not bad. It was like eight dollars and quarters. So you're already ahead. <laughs> you don't see arcade machines out here often. Hello? Frank. What? Get up. Yeah, it's full. It's actually really full today. It's nice out. It's crisp out. It's not too cold, not too warm. Yeah, it's crisp. I just found two Nintendo games here, Frank. You think I have them? Yeah, they're the same one. Captain Skyhawk. All right, come out. Come on, it's a, we've been like three months. And we probably won't be able to go next week or the week after, so. No, you don't. People want to see you. Come on. <laughs> All right. Bye. Right. How much for the controller? For that one, I'm asking ten. Ten. All right. Thanks. Oh, the classic. Uh, 
The classic 80s WWF figures. Freddie Blassie. Speaking of WWE, there are some 80s LJN WWF figures that I just missed out as they've been bought by someone else. Well, that's the one guy I couldn't figure out who it was. Oh well, I already have Bobby Heenan. You want to put that in your pocket, that little thing, so it doesn't get lost somewhere? That's WCW, Jimmy Hart. Did you miss it? I had a huge Dreamcast Sega collection. So I sold Mega Church on yesterday or two days ago on eBay for 120 bucks. Here are some Genesis and NES games, but nothing exciting except for Pete Sampras Tennis. It's one of the few Genesis games with extra controller ports built into the cart. I had 75 Dreamcast games and I had 75 Sega games. What do you got on uh, Sampras Tennis? Four dollars, three dollars? Four bucks. What? Four bucks. I didn't even look it up. What's it, a hundred dollar game? Someone had a whole Dreamcast collection? Dude, I picked it up for 220 bones, man. Actually, there was 55 Dreamcast games and 75 Sega games. So you sold them all online? I sold a lot out here, actually. You yeah, lost I mean, track. Yeah, I lost track. I probably, I already did probably close to a thousand out of that collection. All right, well, good to see you, Nate. More vintage Star Wars stuff. Return of the Jedi figures. These are priced appropriately. I had the Lando Bush disguise figure as a kid, as well as the Han trench coat. How much on Solo? Uh, 890. So when I was a kid. Yeah, I just said that. I love trains. The Laser Travel Network. What the heck is this? I stumbled across a TV for a travel agency with a built-in laser disc player. It's like a marketing. If only we could fast forward to the future and see what's on that laser disc right now. The state of Hawaii is located in the center of the Pacific Ocean, roughly 2,400 miles from the west coast. Getting to Hawaii is easy on United Airlines. Oh, okay, I'm back. It's a small laser disc, though. That's weird. You know, regular, that's... that's yeah, literally, that's a small one. I'm guessing they had some sort of program on it for this company. What were you asking on this? Looks like it's more useful for a TV now, because I don't I don't know lasers that are that small to play. 25, and I found the original button. 25, huh? It's a laser disc on the bottom. For 25 bucks, I think I want to take a shot at this. If it works. Okay, but the lady can't small. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's cheaper. <laughs> cheaper? What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stumbled across some sort of bikini contest picks. Uh, should I be using some antibacterial after touching these? Some 360 games, a few PlayStation, and for the 64, NBA Hang Time, which could be a five-star game in a future guidebook. How much are your games? Five bucks. Mario Lemieux hockey. Never liked Mario Lemieux. There's Streets of Rage for Game Gear, but I'm pretty sure I have that. How much for the uh, the tank? Found the 1982 GI Joe Mobat tank. I have one at home. Seeing this toy by itself is weird without any figures. The uh, what's it called? The Mobat? Yeah, yeah. What will I find in this pile of cords? Why it's a slim PS2. How much for the little PlayStation? And now they'll be analyzing this like I found some rare coin. Ugh. Ten. Okay. Ten dollars? Eh, maybe if it had the hookups. Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. These things increase in value like collector plates. Another OG Xbox. Will Pat buy it? Nope! How much is this going to Nintendo? Say 50 for everything? Yeah, 150. Oh, 150 for everything. Yeah. For the four games and yeah. two controls. Okay. Okay. Oh, these two. Oh, the, oh, all this? Yeah. Okay, yeah. with the Genesis games. Uh -huh. Even with these random Genesis games thrown in, that is still a bad price. How much for the uh, Nintendo? 25. 25? 25 is a good price for a Super Nintendo, but this seller usually prices a bit more than this. What's going on? Ah, the power port is busted. Well, that explains that. These $5 tables are sometimes good for household items, and every once in a while you'll find a good game deal. Today must be Genesis Sports Cart Day. There's a shirtless Zodak, but I already have one fully clothed. Two each. Two each? Yeah. So you go three for five? Yeah. 
Princess of Power? That's right, I found two She-Ra Princess of Power figures. Also found a random AT-AT driver from the vintage Star Wars line. It's my pal Derek's booth, and wait, is that another Neo Geo AES? I bought one from him on Flea Market Madness years ago, and he gave me a great deal. This guy's a maniac for having more than one. He's got a few Neo Geo games there too. What were we asking on again? Seven. With the, games. with the four games. High quality stuff. Found a hidden tub of PlayStation games. There's Crazy Ivan. Long box game! Whoa, terms of service. Need that antibacterial again, probably. But I'll pick up Crazy Ivan and Metal Gear Solid. How much you want on the Genesis? Is it 50 on the Genesis? 50? Oh my god, my very own water fountain. <laughs> Could be mine. Could be all yours. I always wanted a water fountain. Today for the right price. Work with me. <laughs> oh, a few Mattel electronic handhelds. Quarterback is a nice one. You always have to check the battery compartments on these to make sure it's not corroded. Oh, oh, Jesus. $3? Eh. Frank ran into an old friend. Aww. Yeah, good good replaced in my watch. So it was I, good that I came. I haven't been here in months, so it's good I came. I dread you out. I know. I don't like coming anymore. I don't it's know. less I fun? Anymore. Less self divide? You don't need anything. <laughs> I spent all my singles that I saved up on uh, on hot Christmas Italian liqueurs. So I, <laughs> see, now I was just telling him Duran Duran, you know, the SD. Yeah, they're great. Of the, that. No, I don't. I you don't. know the movie Barbarella? Yes. There's a character in that movie yeah. called Duran Duran, and they took their name from that character from the Barbarella. Oh! Frank's dropping some 80s band knowledge. We were watching Moonraker and Roger Moore, right? No, this was a different one. So I watched it. Um, I'm trying to think which one it was. View to a Kill? Yeah, maybe. And then I figured, let me watch it long enough to really make an assessment. And yeah. here's what I came up with. The scene and the music and what they did, I swear to God, it, it, it felt like a made-for-TV movie. <laughs> the, way, the way the color was, the, the way the thing is filmed, and the music, I mean it was, it was, it was like a made-for-TV action movie that could have been anybody. You know, if you couldn't tell, Frank cannot stand Roger Moore James Bond movies. Sure. It could have been anything. It's this girl here. Miss Peach. Miss Peach. Satomi Yoshida. She looks like a peach. Get this for Christmas. Everyone poops. <laughs> Frank, do you poop? Yeah, otherwise you'd be dead. Otherwise you'd be dead. A fact of life of, of being a mammal. Cut the roast on, you know, or sure. a turkey, a big the platter. What the heck? Marvel vs. Street Fighter PS1 in a DVD case with the manual? Sometimes you can find something nice in these bins, but rarely has it paid off for me. Now I'm tempted to sift through these other thousand or so titles in the hope of finding more goodies. Resist, Pat. Resist! How much is your GameCube? Does it have controllers or...? Uh, that's all I have. Okay. You ever think about getting a GameCube for Christmas, maybe? No, I am not. Are you? You know what a GameCube is? Well, it looks like you it's a put cube. the games in and you can rotate through them on your screen the way you would a CD player or something, but you're playing games instead of listening to music. It's not a rotator. It's just a cube. Right. It's just a system. It's one at a time, but it's a cube. It's the GameCube. Yeah. It's rare to have a system for video games that you can put multiple in and just switch between them with a button. Okay. They're usually demo or kiosk units. I have one called the M82 for Nintendo games. It's worth about two grand. I'm trying to school Frank in some classic game consoles. I'm sure he'll remember this stuff. How much is your uh, PlayStation? Twenty. Uh, <laughs> Devil in a blue dress. You ever see that one? Oh, That's there good. it is, right there. Oh, you want that? One. Oh, I just sold it for you. Make sure it's in there. Yeah, I have a tendency to. Oh, uh, this that. is a double-sided side B full screen. Wow, this is an old DVD. That's a 1962 model right there, Frank. Yeah. It's a Dwyer. A bunch of sealed. Game Boy Color and Advance games. 
These are mostly shovelware titles, and you see these in the wild every now and then. But with my luck, I probably missed out on a Shantae buried in there. Shantae, Shantae? Everyone watching out there, feel free to freeze frame and price out some of these six years later. Oh, wrapping paper. Oh, this is a good deal, Frank. Two bucks? Hey, you gotta look at this. I have it. Oh, you do? I got two of them. I, th I, told you, I told you about that last week. You should get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Frank found the BMW Films DVD. These are fantastic shorts starring Clive Owen from the early 2000s. The films were released online for free, and then you can mail away for the DVD. No, I don't care about it. I thought you liked it. I mean, you have two of them. I don't have five. <laughs> well, we gotta watch a couple. I want you. To, they're like five minutes long each. I, I know the order of things. You ever see this one, Lady Hawk? Oh, you ever see the Brazil, the uncut version? I, I don't it's know. Brilliant. Probably not. You ever see the, you know, this one, Lady uh, Hawk? I don't know. Probably not. The mega powers collide there, Frank. Ugh. Oh, I got the four horsemen. Yeah, the four horsemen. Ric Flair. Yeah. Woo! A waste of plastic. It's not a waste of plastic. It's it's entertainment. Yeah, and it's lowest form. <laughs> oh, watch. You want that for your, for Christmas, I Frank? Already, no, I already no, got eight dollars no. for this change. You told me that. Yeah. Where'd you find this at? Was it a thrift oh, store? Yeah, it was uh, plugged in at a bar. And yeah, if I had room for it, I would Where go for it. Where did come from? This What's up, Frank? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Yeah, how are you? Hanging in there. Finish up my book. For your truck, the employee first aid station. Oh. Someone's finger gets sliced off by a weed whacker. You can just I'm not tape them up. For that I'm looking for a lawyer. <laughs> Found a few books of Pokemon cards. I should have bought these. I could have had them graded and then retired by okay. now. The, the taping where with Gene Hackman, Francis Ford Coppola, the same year as The Godfather, probably should have won the Academy Award for this. This is one of the best movies from the 70s. You're getting it. I am getting it. See, I'm holding it. You can also get Captain Skyhawk. How about Night, The Ninth Gate there with Depp? You don't want Captain Skyhawk? This is a good movie. But I need a movie. It's a movie. It's about, you know, it's like Top Gun, except it's a Captain Skyhawk. But it's not a movie. <laughs> Even I know that. I had these as a kid. Get him. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, I saw it. It's very good. Oh, you liked it? Yes. In this timeline, Frank saw Scout Pilgrim about eight years before I did. My favorite cartoon they ruined Yeah, it. well, when you make a movie based on a, the, uh, on a toy, then you're in trouble from the get. <laughs> right, Frank, you gotta kick in for Live Free or Die Hard. Oh, God, he's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Jack 2 is a good movie. I'm gonna get Jack 2. That's not a movie. Yes, it is. It's not. Three Return of the Jedi pencils with C-3PO, Wicket, and Imperial Royal Guard toppers. Yeah, I'll pick them up. Why not? I bought that TV thing over there in the case Why? for 15. See if it works. I want to see what's on it. It has a mini laser disc player built yeah, into it. Yeah, you got yourself in trouble. Say it's something like the ring or something. The ring? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be cursed by some travel agency bad video. Right. I'll end up buying some vacation uh, suite somewhere I don't want. Done. The conversation, unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, bye, Frank. So you got conversation, that was the highlight? Yes, yes. And you got conversation for me, but it's not as good as the movie. Why yeah. do you say that? Frank's heading out, so that does it for this flea market madness. I'll see you next year in 2016. Yeah, wait, what? So when you were 98 pounds, they would just go like that, and you try to stand there. And then you would just. I told you that one time when I was the first match, I was so small. Yeah. And I was getting it going to weigh in the first time, and um, he said, "Hey, hey, your sweatshirt. Take your sweatshirt off so you make weight." 
and I took it off and didn't know what to do with it, and I held it. <laughs> but I still made it, because I was only like 94 pounds or something. 